Hey, hello, you're stuck in with Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing in IT and IT security. Today, looking at the duality, the duality that is, the paradox that is, having good visibility as well as protecting the data. So if you haven't seen it, uh, check out this story about TeenSafe. TeenSafe is a client that runs on phones. TeenSafe, as the name says on the box, is supposed to allow parents to make sure their teen is safe. Um, they probably could have used marketing help, but they definitely could have used security help because the data itself was not secure. It was not safe. The reads, the writes, the browsing, the, all that sort of stuff was being captured on the phones and sent to the cloud where it was stored in unsecured S3 buckets. Not a new story. We keep hearing about Amazon. I mean, that part is not new. We keep hearing about org after org after org that has their S3 bucket open. But what is unique to this story, and the tip for you is this, when you open up an endpoint and intercept traffic that is supposed to be encrypted, you introduce risk of that traffic, of those logs becoming themselves a point of data spillage. So for example, let's suppose you had a um, agent on the desktops, right, that allowed you to talk to the proxy that was doing decryption. Uh, and people were keying in passwords. Over HTTPS, not a problem. But now you've logged them in HTTP. Similarly, let's suppose you've got a control on the perimeter, right, where you're doing SSL decryption or VPN um, uh, capturing or even decrypting encrypted files. All things that are very common on the perimeter as you want to ensure that you don't have data loss going on, right? But, but, who has access to those logs in the endpoint? Who has access to that um, server or appliance that's doing the decryption? The access to those allows you to have access to data that the developers, the designers, people who have implemented the controls are assuming is safely encrypted, either in transmission or on the file level. And now we've opened it wide up for anyone to do anything they want. It's this weird paradox where you're introducing more risk where you're trying to remediate risk. And that can be a very difficult thing for a security person to do. So you've got to weigh that very carefully and put in additional mitigating controls for the holes that you just now punched in your security program. Um, kind of like having a team. You don't really know what they're going to do. But you do know this. Whatever they're doing, you don't want it in an S3 bucket but wide open. <laughs> That's my analogy and I'm sticking to it. What about you? Have you come across some really good ways to protect yourself when you open up holes in your security program? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.